Hi guys, you're welcome to another episode of Frankly Speaking with Glory. My name is Glory Elijah and today I will be talking about signs that you are in a toxic relationship. I'm not going to be talking about um, the dating kind of relationship or um, the courtship kind of relationship. I will be focusing on a platonic relationship the sort that you have with friends you know so before i continue guys if you are yet to subscribe to my youtube channel please do so by clicking on the subscribe button and also clicking on the post notification bell to be up to date with my weekly uploads so guys the first sign to look out for to determine if you are in a toxic relationship is when you always have to be the bigger person and say i am sorry now i am not saying that it is wrong to be the bigger person i am not saying that it is wrong to always apologize but when you find yourself being the one that always goes to say i am sorry that always goes to apologize whether you are at fault or whether you are not at fault then guys watch it you are definitely in a toxic relationship if you were in an equal relationship or a free zone relationship whenever anything happens or anybody wrongs anybody nobody counts it as a big deal to apologize first but then when you're in a relationship with someone who is a narcissist and someone who is very very toxic you find out that whenever that person is even at fault you have to be the one to go and apologize otherwise it's going to be a war zone between you and that person so guys watch out that is the first sign to know that you are in a toxic relationship the second sign for you to know that you are in a toxic relationship is when you are with someone that would never ever accept their wrong i tell you that is one of the most exhausting things that could ever happen to anybody and i do not wish it for anybody because seriously when you are with someone that feels that they are a hundred percent perfect then there's a big problem that relationship would definitely become very toxic because you can't have a decent argument with the person you can't have like a decent conversation with the person you can't even have like you, you can't even speak your mind which is the third point for me anyways you know the fact that you cannot air your own views you cannot speak your mind in a relationship it makes it toxic automatically so guys if you're in a relationship with someone who would never accept your wrong if you're in a relationship with someone who believes that they are a hundred percent perfect then you have to flee honeys you have to flee because it's a cheat it's a cheat i mean it's not it's not fair when you're in a relationship that you cannot stand your ground you cannot speak your mind you know i feel like it's not fair when you're in a relationship where everybody cannot just speak their mind and then we all move on and forget that whatever happened has happened you know one person always has to be the giant one person always has to be the the lord ruler overall the sovereign one i am always perfect i am always you know guys so I, I tell you it's very very exhausting if you find yourself in such a relationship i think you need to re re-evaluate your friendship with that person because i tell you it's not worth you losing your sanity it's not worth you losing your self-worth it's not worth you losing your self-values and it's not worth you dimming your light or shrinking for that person to shine so that's it for point two and point three and number four if you notice this in your friend then just know that that is a toxic relationship automatically have you found yourself in a situation where your friend keeps telling you take me the way i am this is the way i am oh you know that this is the way i am so if i do something wrong to you you should just know that this is the way i am accept me the way i am don't complain eh hey my god listen if you hear someone saying that to you on a regular that is definitely definitely a hundred percent a toxic relationship because fine i know that in this world that we live today what makes every human being different is the fact that we are unique in our own different ways but then what makes it better is when you know that you've got flaws flaws that could damage other people you know and then you decide 
as a strong individual that you are to work on it to become a better person but then when you recognize and realize that you have flaws and you are doing absolutely nothing to work on your flaws to become a better person then you have a problem and then you see people who are that way they are the ones that totally totally make up for a toxic relationship i have been in such situations twice mm -hmm twice and my friend will tell me that oh my god girl you've got a very very strong patience level honestly my patience level is even to the point of perseverance as if i'm in a married relationship with that person seriously guys i had to flee i beg so that i will have my sanity so that i will have my my sanity so that my style will shine more i beg like you can't be in a relationship with someone and then whenever they do something wrong they refuse to accept that they are wrong they always want you to see them for who they have but then when you present who you really are to them they refuse to accept you the way they are the way you are so guys if you meet people who are always fond of wanting you to accept them for who they are and then they refuse to accept you for who you are then you are certainly in a toxic relationship and i would advise that you flee yes and then number five sign that will tell you that you are definitely in a toxic relationship is when you go out with your friend and then they treat you like three is a crowd see this one eh i am going to tell you guys that 100 percent 100 percent it's gonna mess with your mind it's gonna mess up with your self-esteem yeah because I, I feel like it's really really wrong when you go out on um let's say on a boys hangout or a girls hangout with your friends and then when you guys are out you know they they start treating you like you are the odd one out they start treating you like you are the douche like you are a stranger like you are totally not welcome i mean i have gone through that before and it happened quite a couple of times the first time it happened i felt like okay uh, maybe everybody's trying to be all classy and bougie because we're in public and then i i had to let it slide and then it happened again the second time and i'm like what the fuck is going on like why would i leave my house the comfort of my house and then i come out and then i'm going through this shit like these people are treating me like I shouldn't have come out in the first place and me on a regular day i love my space in fact see this little apartment that i have here it's my little haven i love it i am comfortable in it i would rather just sit down open my laptop and work and write on my blog on my website than to go out and see the bullshit that's happening out there yeah sometimes i when i want to network i know how to do my networking you know but then on this particular occasions that i would go out with the certain people or the certain persons you know they just make me feel like you're not welcome you know they do things on their own they seclude you they 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 move you away from their crowd and when they meet other people that they know they feel like you are not that relevant for them to make an introduction and I, honestly guys i know how it feels so i am telling you authoritatively today guys that if you find yourself in such a relationship it is definitely a toxic one and it's definitely gonna it's gonna fuck with your brains it's gonna mess up with your mind and it's also gonna start making you feel like you are not good enough whereas you are very very much great and awesome and amazing and the last point that i have for you guys but which is not the least though or which is not the final final one is when you are in a relationship that you are always very very supportive and encouraging to the other party or parties but then when it comes to your own business or your own hustle or whatever they refuse to give you that much support or love listen those set of people that you call friends who do that to you they are absolutely selfish yeah because you it's not enough for them to say that they are your friends and then when you have a business going or when you have an idea or when you have an ambition to do something they would never ever push you they would never ever encourage you they would never ever like give you that much support that you would give to them when it's their own turn i mean i know such people who whenever they want to do anything the moment they call me i'm like go person go whoever you are you can do it you can do it and if i have the the resources to even assist i go out of my way to make sure that i make those things available and then when it comes to my own turn hmm, it'd be like jam for them honestly even a phone call is too much even the message is too much i mean 
it's really really terrible people are terrible and i tell you when you want to test your friends if you want to test your friends loyalty you don't test your friends loyalty when when it's time for you people to talk or when it's time for you people to party you would you would better test your friends loyalty when it's time for them to support you when you have a business or an ambition or or a dream or something going if they support you a hundred percent with whether with money or with um, financial resources or with words of encouragement, then you know that you have true friends. But if they never encourage you, <laughs> then you are in a toxic relationship. Yes. For instance, you have a YouTube channel and then you are always begging your friends. I beg, I beg, share my video. I beg, I beg, like my video. I beg, I beg, tell your other people in your contacts to subscribe. I beg, I beg, tell your people to follow me. Ha. If you're always begging, I tell you, you're in a toxic relationship because those people are only interested in their own personal growth. They are not interested whatsoever in whatever you're doing. They are not even interested in if you're ready to push yourself or not. Yes, a true friend that you have will not wait for you to tell them to be supportive. The moment that they see that you are working hard to achieving something, the moment that they see that you are working hard to becoming a better version of yourself, the moment that they see that you have set up a business, they will be the first persons to patronize you. Whether they have the money or not, they will surely go out of their way to patronize you. But then, babes, guys seriously if you have in your circle if you call if you have someone you call your bestie your best friend sister from another mother brother from another brother blah 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 like we always say you have such a person in your life and that person has refused to support you in every way or in whatever way that they have the capacity to or they are refusing to help you grow your brand or your business listen child of god you are in a really really strong and toxic relationship and you should flee you should change your circle you should look for people that will support you you should look for people that want to see you grow and you just as you are looking for people that will support you you should also be open to supporting people as well so ladies and gentlemen those are my few signs to let you know that you are in a toxic relationship and i hope that with this few points of mine i have been able to convince you and not to confuse you gosh feels like i'm still in primary school anyways i hope that i've been able to to give you some insight into the signs that will tell you that you are in a toxic relationship remember you are welcome to join this family all you have to do is to click on the subscribe button and you will become a part of this family and um also guys please do well to click on the notification bell so you will get a lot of my weekly uploads of my videos thank you guys so much for watching till next time bye <laughs>